Hi guys, so I am back with a haul from the craft shop. We go to Craft World in Hillington and this is where we get our supplies for bow making. So I'm just going to do a wee haul. The first thing we got was a pair of scissors to cut ribbon with. The scissors that we used just now are rubbish so hopefully these will be a lot better. Now I had to get different size of needles. I've already got um, bigger needles but I had to get size 5s. Um, I had to get size 12s which are the biggest and size sixes for the bows that I'm looking to do and they were 265, 345 and what's that one? 225 and the scissors were 399. I then also had to get some black thread because we're using black a lot more we had to get the thread. The beads they, we got pearls in four millimetres. Yep, four millimetre per, uh, pearls, white ones. These holes are slightly bigger though, so I don't know how I'm going to get on with them. And then I got the bigger pearls for the bigger bows. Um, they were one ninety nine. These ones were ninety nine pence, and these ones were also one ninety nine. And these are the four millimetre pearls. They didn't have white so I had to go with these. I then had to get some more tubs. As you can see I've got more ribbon and more beads. I do have the rhinestone so on beads coming on Tuesday. So I've got um, a small tub for beads and that was $1.99. And then a bigger tub for the ribbon and that was $2.50. I need to organise out my ribbons to like prioritise colours and sizes and what have you. So that is that section, the rest is just all ribbons. So <clears throat> the glitter ones we got, now these were about 75 pence a metre I think they were. So we've got purple with a gold trim and I get two metres of these just so I can kind of muck about with them and then I've got a pink with a silver which is nice. A white with a silver. Now I did pick up the white with the gold and I put that back because I realised that you can get the silver and I prefer silver really to gold so two metres of that one as well. And then I got a big red ribbon, a metre of that just for Christmas colours and a nice pink and a kind of orangey yellow. Now Jamie picked this colour out to go on a bow so I'll see how that works. A peach colour, now I do have the bigger one in this in peach but we bought the small one and these are all just metre ones, I just got a metre of these just to try and a small red one just for Christmas or Valentine's Day colours. I then got a kind of aqua blue colour, again one metre. kind of mint green colour and again another kind of aqua colour so that bow would go over that one and be like that which will be nice and then we got the kind of deeper colour with a kind of mint green now I don't think I'm going to put these two colours together, I need to work out what ones I bought for what, I can't even remember because I bought so many. So again just a metre in them. And then these are for our seasons, the only colour I didn't get was purple, and I actually forgot all about it but I think I've got enough. So Halloween's coming up so I'm going to have a black bow with orange polka dots and the same again with the green and the red is for Christmas and the rhinestone beads that I'm going to get for these are going to look really really nice in the middle of these um, kind of blings it up a bit and these are the two ribbons that my mum was looking for to get so she wanted the red with silver 
and also got the, her the navy blue with silver as well. So she'll get them the next time I see her. And the last thing I got was two metres of a big black one. Now, when I do this, it will be a big black and let me see, I could have like this one over it or I could do the kind of pink glitter which would be nice and the one I'm looking forward to trying the most is the white with black so I'm looking forward to trying this one and this is the kind of bigger bows so this bow that I make here will need to fit on the size 12 needles because it's a bigger bow so that is all the ribbon and with the ribbon that we've got in our previous boxes we have ample now to do some more dog bows and again it's trial and error I'm still practicing I'm getting better every time so I'm only going to be keeping one bow or two bows maybe of this so I can give the dogs one each and then whatever left whatever I have left I will be making another bow and I'll be selling these or putting them um, in a contest and doing a giveaway type thing. So I am very excited to try out our new bows and that is us. So that's just a wee mini haul from the craft world and that probably cost me about 30, just above 30 pounds for all of that. The needles were the most expensive and the beads, without that, that probably would have cost me about £10-£15. So stay with us and we will show you the dog bows that we make and like, subscribe, leave a comment and we will see you guys later. Bye!